Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I haven't talked to you guys in a while so today's video is going to be just a simple chill video. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about, a few topics I want to, you know, share a little bit about. But before that I want to, you know, just introduce the artwork that you guys are seeing currently. So, while on vacation back in Mozambique, I started practicing portraits digitally, okay? And this took me a long time to be able to really do. I'm not very good with digital yet, but I did find it easier and more manageable whilst doing these portraits. So, I started off by doing three portraits of girls and then I did three portraits of boys. Now, I tried my best to do this in two different styles because there are two portrait styles that I really like. One is a more rendered style. It's very detailed, very worked on, okay? So that is the top row of portraits that you guys are seeing. The second style is a more simplistic style and it's supposed to just convey the features of the portrait but not do it too much or render it too much. Honestly, I don't think I did this correctly. I don't think I kind of achieved objective with this style, but that is the bottom row that you guys are going to be seeing. I've already shared these pictures back on my Instagram, also in Reels and on TikTok if you guys want to check it out and just look at them for a bit more time than you are right now in the video. But yeah, going into the topic I want to talk today. So by the title, you'll probably realize what I want to talk about, but lately, Social media has been a little bit complex for me. I find myself being really unmotivated and art blocked to actually start working on pieces and sketching and being creative, you know? And even though I've been able to sketch on my sketchbook a little bit or do some figure studies, being creative is not something I'm capable of doing right now. And I think that's really due to social media and I'll explain. I've been on Instagram for a long time now. I've been on Instagram for like five years, four or five years now. I'm at 400 and something subscribers, uh, followers. Um, and numbers don't say a lot, right? But it is exhausting after so much time put into this that I'm not going anywhere. But I guess I hoped I'd be a little bit further on. To be completely honest, I'm pretty happy with the 400s, you know? What I'm not happy about is the algorithm right now. And I know a lot of artists have been talking about this. I know you've been hearing about this. So I don't want to be just another nail in the coffin, right? But I honestly think Instagram should reconsider what they're doing. This is, to me, it's not my livelihood because obviously 400 followers. But for a lot of artists, for a lot of creators, this is a livelihood. And it's ridiculous that they do what they do with their algorithm with, uh, with complete disregard to the people that actually make a living off of their app. Now, what I'm trying to talk about specifically, if you don't have an account that, you know, that is a professional account, then you won't be able to see these stats. But when your account is a professional account, you can see how many of, how many people saw your post, how many of those people were your followers and how many weren't, um, the reach in general and where they get, where they saw the post. So if it was for hashtags, search, whatever. What does this mean exactly? So, for my account personally, and I know a lot of artists have been struggling with this, let's round up the number of followers I have to 500 to make it a little bit easier to, to see this. But from those 500 people that follow me, right, you would expect what? 500 people? Those 500 people would see my posts, plus a little bit of, you know, new people that have never seen my account before. That's not what's happening. So my reach with a normal post would be at around 100 people. Of those 100 people, 80 something aren't even your followers. So you're telling me of my followers, only 20 people are seeing my posts? This is ridiculous. Now I can take the stats to give them to you. I have currently changed my profile to personal because I realized that my personal profile got a lot more views than my art profile and I just changed it and honestly now, I really don't care to change it back. I am curious about the statistics, but it's giving me a lot of peace of mind not being able to see them. 
um, and not being able to worry about them. So it's helping me a little bit with my creative block. So I can't exactly show you guys the screenshots or anything, right? But it is around this. And it has been around these values for a year now. If we're talking about a reel, it gets a lot more exposure, but it's a photo sharing app. And even though I do have fun sharing reels, which are basically TikToks for me, I don't make specific reels for Instagram. I wish that my photos would get views because I, I go to TikTok to watch videos and I go to Instagram to watch to look at photos so it really makes no sense that my photos aren't getting as much exposure as the reels anyways now you can see that like 80% aren't even my followers so we're talking about like 20 of my 500 followers are the ones that are like seeing my stuff now these 20 people um they're not my friends they're not my closest friends they're not even my boyfriend okay my boyfriend rarely gets to see my posts I don't see my friends liking my pictures or my posts anymore. I, my boyfriend rarely gets them. He told me even the other day, like I asked him, are you even seeing my posts? He says like, oh, I saw your post like, I don't know, a few times a week, I guess. And I told him, dude, I've been posting every single day, which is another thing. I have been active on Instagram every single day. Why? Because I've been making content for TikTok and therefore those TikToks turn into reels that are posted frequently every single day to Instagram. Now, if this was an algorithm thing of your activity thing, you know, you're not too active in your account, that's why like your account is dying. That is not an argument that can be made in this circumstance because I am definitely active on my account. So that is not the case here. Maybe not with photos, but I am active. And my friends, my close friends, sometimes I, I see them liking every single post I put out. And I'm like, damn, you haven't seen my post in a long time, have you? And I've had friends come up to me like, hey, have you been posting? I rarely get your posts. And I tell them, well, try liking a lot of them in, in a row and maybe you'll see them more often. And they start seeing them more often. But other than that, like, it's ridiculous. You shouldn't, you know, people, if you subscribe to someone, if you follow someone, online you want to see their content you don't want the algorithm to say no and i'm honest with you when i follow someone new i get their content but it for it, it shadows the per the people that i like to see every day on my like stories or my for you it's not a for you but whatever you know and it's ridiculous because i want to see the people that i want to see i'm following people that i want to see not just the new ones not just the ones i just followed but i want to see the ogs the ones i've been following for years and seeing them grow and just everything and it's ridiculous that the app isn't catered to you chronologically anymore i haven't experienced instagram chronologically to be completely honest with you i came in after the chronological change but i do think that would be the best option even tiktok sometimes is not chronological but i don't actually mind that i might i'd rather see the old content than not see their content at all like it's ridiculous not to mention, mind you, when I'm looking through my feed and trying to see pictures, trying to see posts, I see a lot of ads, I, le I see a lot of hashtags, um, I see recommended reels and recommended artists, which is nice, but it shouldn't be the priority, right? I don't know, I think Instagram has really taken a plunge, and I know I'm not a big creator on there, um, but the reality is, like, they are killing their own app, and I'm so unmotivated. And when you're talking about art, we can't produce art at the speed that the algorithm wants. We can't, it's just not possible. But even if we didn't, right? If we could at least continue to grow, that would be nice. Right now, I can go look up and I know that I'm at 480 followers. Beginning of this year, I started at 450 followers and I it got down to 440 and I couldn't get out of 440. I would get followers every week and the number wouldn't go up. It would go down. For us that are really, really, really tiny co content creators, it's just... It, we notice it we notice it because it's unmotivating even if it just went up one subscriber a week or one subscriber every month um it would be better than me seeing subscribe followers sorry every week and the number just going down it's ridiculous it really is and i know that now i have like the number grew a little bit so i'm very very happy for it but the reality is i don't know how long i'm gonna be stuck in that number i don't know if it's gonna go down and it's very frightening um i'm very thankful don't get me wrong i'm very thankful but it's very frightening to to see that number and to not know what comes next because the reality is the algorithm is just like that. 480 followers, I get an average 10, 12 likes on, on a picture. Yes, 
10, 12 likes on a picture. It's ridiculous. Come on. Tell me you wouldn't be unmotivated to post. Tell me you wouldn't be unmotivated to show your art. And honestly, that's what's been happening in my life. That's what I've been struggling with lately. It has hindered my abilities to be creative and to, you know, be comfortable showing my art out there. And I do feel like Instagram should really get their shit together and work this out because sure artists aren't the only content creators but we are a big community nonetheless and you should at least value your communities and you should at least consider I don't mean the whole not post like you should post every day sure it's it's an algorithm thing and I understand why that's important but don't don't obscure us don't take away our followers don't fuck up our views share it to new people but share it to every single person that's following us and when i don't see any likes on my posts it's because they didn't genuinely like it it should be better they should be doing it better i'm not fully against them but your photo sharing app the video should never be the priority they should be an add-on i don't know guys these are just some random thoughts uh, that have been going through my mind in the past few weeks um about this topic and i'm honestly trying to post regularly i'm keeping a schedule and i have been sketching on my sketchbook and just trying to be you know chill about my creative process whilst i'm making content and taking care of like university stuff that i still have to finish up but i do have to admit it is something that i struggle with and i understand that a lot of you will struggle with this too because i've seen a lot of people commenting it online and talking about it online how they struggle with this type of situation all the time so i just wanted to talk a little bit about it and just let it all out and maybe you'll find comfort in our mutual struggles and all of that so yeah anyways to finish off like i said i have an instagram and a tiktok you guys can follow or you can subscribe on here i usually post every week right now i'm posting every two weeks just because i have some university stuff to get through so if you guys want to keep up to date with what i'm doing on a daily basis instagram and tiktok is a lot better right now okay well i will be seeing you guys in two weeks and i think it might be a sketchbook tour i do, i think it might be a sketchbook tour and i hope you guys are gonna like it take care of yourselves don't let social media drag you down and allow yourself some time to breathe and to relax and just mindlessly sketch <laughs>